welcome back to my channel. Let me scoot over. This is going to be an empties video. Sorry, I'm scooting up a little bit. I'm sitting on the floor because the mound is right here on the floor. I'm cleaning. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I've been like cleaning and decluttering every room one by one, top to bottom. So yeah, I have lots of empties to share. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I've got a head wrap on, get my, getting things done. What is it? Okay, so the first thing I have is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. This is the moist one for moisture in three minutes plus blah, 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 deep conditioner. I love this stuff. This is, I don't even use regular conditioner. I use shampoo and then I put this in one of these. There's like three different ones. I just, I think I have this one. I have the strong and I put it in from like the crown down. I don't put it like in my roots. So I put it like right here from here down and I clip it up and then I continue my bath or my shower and it just stays in the whole time I'm in the shower. So I keep it in longer than three minutes, but this stuff is amazing. Especially if you have like uh, bleached hair, dry hair, processed hair, over-processed hair. This stuff is amazing. It's like my, just my conditioner. It's the only thing I use for conditioner. Um, do I only have one of these? Okay, this is the Candy Johnson Limited Edition Frosted Sugar Cookie from what, two Christmases ago? Uh, this is the conditioner. This is what the girls do. They use the, what is it, candy gumdrop and then the Frosted Sugar Cookie. And we are out of the Frosted Sugar Cookie conditioner. So that is empty. These smell so good. This is like the first line candy came out with. It smells so good. So yeah, that is an empty. If it ever came back out, I would definitely buy it again. Adri loves that scent. She likes that one better than the purple, which is a candy gumdrop. Next in here, I just have an, uh, an empty Febreze. This is the Bora Bora Waters. Oh, a tiny bit just came out. You, it's empty. That probably just went right back up. That's just, I use that like in the bathrooms. empty next up I just have this little empty container of it was a container of q-tips these I get at the Dollar Tree they're teeny tiny q-tips so they work really good when I clean out the kids' ears after their bath so I can really get in there and clean them out because they're so small so I always get their q-tips from there and then my myself I myself I only like the equate brand because like the q-tips brand they're too big for like my ear and I've tried like another brand what was it and they like twist off, like the cotton like twists off of the stick. I don't like those. So yeah, those are my go-to for the kids. Next up, I have a Philosophy uh, White Cherry. This is the shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. It's like three in one. If you remember, like, was it last Christmas? The Christmas, the Christmas before. It wasn't the Christmas we just had. And I got the kit that had like eight different scents. This definitely smells good. White Cherry. It says... Three cups of cherries, three cups of mixed fruit, one teaspoon of sugar, one bottle of fruity red wine, 24 ounces of mineral water. Fill pitcher with ingredients and stir together. Refrigerate overnight for best results. Serve chilled and garnish with a mint leaf. And that's how you make a white cherry. These, yeah, all of their things have like a recipe on them. So there's that. Next in here, I just have an empty can of Pledge. I used to use Pledge. This is favorite, whatever. I think they all work the same. I've never noticed that one works any better than any of the other ones. Like I just need to get the dust off. Next up is the Johnson's No More Tangles. Oh my gosh, you've seen my videos. Adri's hair, like if she doesn't brush it for like two days, it just gets like matted, almost like it starts to get dreadlocks. I don't know what she does in her sleep, but I posted about it on Facebook. Like so many of my friends like have, have like posted pictures that their hair does the same thing, either their hair or their daughter's hair. Um, so I guess it's a common thing. I don't know, I always sleep with my hair up. I can't sleep with it down or I'd strangle myself because it just would wrap around my neck. <laughs> So this stuff is amazing, and now we're using it on Allie's hair because her girl, curls are getting tangly. So there's that. Next up, we have a watermelon lemonade gentle foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This is just like a go-to for a summery scent of hand soap. Um, this in here, it's not empty. This is a used Clarisonic brush. I just, I put a new one on the other day, and I put on the enlarged pores one. I don't know what this one, but this is a garbage uh, clear sonic brush head next in here we have a georgia peach gentle foaming hand wash from bath and body works i haven't found a scent of their hand washes i don't like this is the cabana breeze gentle foaming hand soap with cocoa butter 
So then, whoa, there's that one. I think a lot of these had like little bits left in them, like when I moved, how many months ago? <laughs> and we finished, I'm just like finished up a bunch of stuff. And I also, there's some things in here that aren't empty, but they're just bad because I've had them forever. Anyways, this one is the Beach Cabana Gentle Foaming Hand Wash with Sea Minerals. Like I said, whenever I get a uh, Bath and Body Works soon, it's like I can just grab a handful of different ones for the summer. Just use those. This is the Gold Bond Ultimate Skin Protectant Lotion Eczema Relief. 2% colloidal oatmeal relieves five symptoms of eczema. Alex used to get um, these like patches. They almost look like, they look like, like when she first got them when she was really little, they look like ringworm. And the doctor's like, no, she just has eczema. And like he recommended different lotions. I bought, this is like a $15 lotion, I think. And like nothing worked. She just eventually grew out of it. Like none of the lotions that I tried, none of them worked. Next up in here is a Super Smile Extra White uh, Pre-Rinse Mouthwash. Next in here is a Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Tropical Mango. I love all of these scents. This is, this is my favorite scrub. Like I love the Bath and Body Works ones, but these are just so scratchy, scrubby. I love these. They're my favorite. So if they go on sale, I grab those. And I actually got like after Christmas, was it right after Christmas? Yeah, with my gift cards. I got a kit that had like a bunch of, um, a bunch of different scents in them. Next up in here, we have a Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. Um, a friend of mine and one of my subscribers, and she also has a channel here. I don't know if she's ever post videos on her channel anymore. Anyway, she gave these to me, oh man, a while back. That one, and she gave us this one too. This was Grapefruit and Aloe Body Butter. Um, she gets the, what is that, a monthly box that everybody gets. <laughs> what the heck's it called? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. The monthly subscription box. It has like full size products in it. That might be where the camera, I don't know. Next up we have the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Fortifying Shampoo and Aloe Extract. I think my mom had bought this and didn't really like it and gave it to us. So there's that. Next in here is a pumpkin cupcake empty candle this is like my second favorite fall candle my first favorite fall candle is pumpkin apple if you know me and you watch me you know this next up i have another tree hut shea sugar scrub this is passion fruit and guava another empty scrub it really is the best scrub oh here's another smashed up clarisonic brush head <laughs> this is an empty baby lips it's just the baby lips dr rescue a clear one there's absolutely nothing in there. I like dug my finger in there and scraped it out. So that is empty. Next up, we have a Febreze Air Unstoppables. This is my favorite one. It smells like clean laundry. I have this one and the one that you actually spray, spray on fabric. The one with the green cap is my favorite. Also in here, I have a, what is this? Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. This is a 19 fluid ounce tub. This is in the Pure Vanilla Bean scent completely empty this is like my favorite body butter ever so there's that i buy it all the time like it's my go-to here is a fresh picked pears antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap from bath and body works uh next up i have this lysol this is for baby's room i used to get it at toys r us but then when they closed i could only find it on amazon like a four pack so i got like four of these giant bottles it's it's the best lysol i spray it in here before Jax goes to bed it's completely and i spray it in allies it just smells like a nursery the baby scent it smells so good so good next up in here is a head and shoulders dry scalp care this is the I don't know this one says with almond oil so there's that is this shampoo or conditioner shampoo if that's just the shampoo i don't really like two in ones i feel like they just my hair needs separate uh next up we have a garnier whole blends repairing conditioner honey treasures i mean this stuff was okay this is conditioner this stuff was okay but i prefer the um three minute miracle Next up, we have a Surf's Up Coconut Bay. Oh my gosh, they're out there being loud as can be and singing along with the TV. They know I'm filming too. Awesome. Surf's Up Candle. This is a Coconut Bay three-wick candle from Bath & Body Works. 
used it up. Uh, next up, here's another one. Three, is this the same or is this a different one? Nope, it's the same. It's the moist one. The Three Minute Miracle. I mean, it's the same. It's the moisture one. Like, there's moisture, there's strong, and then there's, I forget what the other one is. I think there's three. Next up, I have a MAC Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. This stuff is great, but if you get it too close to your eyes, it, like, burns your eyes like crazy. Like, even if you get it, like, down here, it just always made my eyes burn. But it's a good scrub. Like, I use it as a mask. I put it on the bathtub and leave it on. Um, this is my go-to deodorant. This is a Degree Ultra Clear Pure Clean Invisible Solid Antiperspirant and Deodorant. The one with the black dress. That's one I always get. Uh, next up, we have a Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. This is Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. I love this. This is like, this stuff foams up better than like any other um, philosophy or Bath and Body Works like shower gel or bath gel like i always use the stuff and this one has the lavender my favorite was the milk and honey and i can't find it anymore so i'm currently using i think it's eucalyptus that i have in there here is a mary cookie deep cleansing hand soap from bath and body works that is empty another good christmasy scent here is a benefit their real um like sample mascara that's empty I like that stuff. It makes your lashes look great, but it makes them like hard and crunchy. So if you don't like hard, crunchy lashes, you won't like that. Here is a Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This is a natural mint in shea butter with SPF 25. You can get these at Ulta. That's where I get them. That's empty. I also have a Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is like my favorite liner because it has like such the fine tip. See that? I love it. It does it like I had the Stila one before and it kind of frayed at the end. I love the Kat Von D. Okay, next up. Now we have the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Foaming Hand Soap and Watermelon. This stuff smells really good. I love it. It's like the same as Bath and Body Works, like hand soap. I mean, to me. This is the Goldbond Ultimate Rough and Bumpy Skin Daily Therapy Cream. This I got for Adri. She gets the little teeny tiny bumps on her um, on her legs and on like the tops of her arms. I recently bought her, is it the CeraVe, CeraVe, however you say it. I forget what it's called. There's a certain one that has like three different acids in it that work for that. So we're trying that out. Um, I mean, this one, I don't, it didn't get rid of the bumps, but whatever. Next up, we have a Fiji Pineapple Palm. Bath and Body Works uh, shower gel. That smells good too. It smells really, really clean and pineapple-y. It smells really, really good. So there's that. What else do we have? We have another deodorant that's empty. Oh my gosh, this is amazing seeing that I'm like using stuff up. Here we have a Meyer hand sanitizer. There's still a little bit in there, but it will not come out. Like it does not come out whatsoever. So that is an empty. Hi. You gotta be quiet. Mom. Wait, don't bump the camera. Mommy's filming, okay? Can you go back out there with Daddy and Jackson and Adri? Yeah. What? You can't walk over here, honey. I have glass and bottles and stuff all over. Can somebody come get her? No, Allie. No, Allie. Are you filming? Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay. This is my little sister. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just don't want her. She's trying to walk. I don't want her to break my tripod. Hey. Adri, will you shut my door for me? Hey. Their dad's out there watching them. <laughs> Next up, I have a winter candy apple bath and body wash candle. This one I got as a gift. I don't really care for this one. It just has like that almost that almost too sweet scent. I don't really care for that one. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but it's not. I wouldn't buy it. Oh my gosh! Now she's gonna sit there and cry. <laughs> Next up, I have another one of the Lysol disinfectant spray for baby's room. This is a smaller one. Smells amazing. I love this stuff. Like I said, it just smells like baby's room. It's disinfectant and I use it as air freshener. Like it's just amazing. Next over here, we have spiced pumpkin pie, better homes and gardens candle from Walmart. Smells good. Smells like pumpkin pie. Well, now it smells like burnt pumpkin pie since it's empty. So there is that one. Next up, banana bunt cake from Bath and Body Works. This one I just finished the other day. Yeah, I'm still finishing up fall scents and winter scents. This one smells good. I would definitely repurchase this one. I've had the wallflower too, and it smells like you're baking banana bread. It smells really good. Next over here, we have a Tis the Season, my all-time favorite Christmas candle. You guys know this. 
It says rich red apples, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. I have it in a couple different packaging. This one I started to cut up to melt. Oh my god, this is my favorite. Like it is tomorrow's June 1st, and I was burning one of these just yesterday here in my bedroom. I just took it out today when I did my candle collection. So watch out for that. I just did a my entire candle collection. So anyway, there's a tis the season. Here is another tis the season. This is just different packaging. Sometimes they have like a couple different packaging. I love the lids depending like on the same season. So this one has like ornaments on it. Hanging ornaments. How cute. That's a snowflake. I might keep those lids because those are super cute. I think I will keep those lids. What's this one? This one's just a Christmas tree. We'll keep those just in case because I have other Christmas candles that I never burned last year and I can just swap those lids out. Oh, there's more back here. Here is another Tis the Season. Oh my gosh, that's three different packagings already for the same set. So there's those. Here is another Tis the Season. I'm not joking. I love this set. If it was all edible, I would eat it or drink it. What's this one? Here is a pumpkin cupcake. Look at that cute little lid. This is my second favorite fall scent. That has a cute lid too. I'll keep that one. It just smells so good. And this one, the notes are whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcake. That's a good set. It's not too sweet. I don't like the cinnamon. What is it? Sweet cinnamon cupcake or whatever. I don't know. One of them, it just makes me like sick. But I like the pumpkin cupcake. Here is a Better Homes and Gardens limited edition candle from Walmart. It is farm apple Farm apple pumpkin. It's not the same as pumpkin apple. That's what I was going for. Not happening. And then my last two things I have over here is yet another Tis the Season. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five Tis the Season. One pumpkin cupcake, one banana bunt cake, one winter candy apple, and one coconut bay. And then the last thing I have over here, my last empty, is this Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. This is the coconut oil one. It says moisturizes and softens, nourishes your skin, long-lasting bubbles, gently cleanse. Like I said, I like all of these. There's not really, the milk and honey is my favorite, but I can't find it anymore. But all the rest, like basically work the same they foam up really good they make your skin really soft and they make they're not super strong but they make your uh baths are super cozy and relaxing so yeah that is everything for oh my gosh what a disaster that is everything from this empties video uh give me a thumbs up if you like these types of videos subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these types of videos uh ring that little bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a video i'm gonna try and get a shot of all of this right here so you can just see what I had piled up over here that's just been waiting for me to go through it. Because, yeah, it's it's been ridiculous right here. Oh, there's another pumpkin cupcake I forgot about. When I just did my little count. Okay. Oh my gosh, if I can get up. <laughs> I sat in the same position too long. Alright guys, let's see, can we get it all? Can we get it all? Yes, we can. So yeah, that is my empties. We'll just call it May May empties because this is the last uh, the last day of May. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.